Hello, this is um, the um, guided activity three and I'm going to talk to you about the history of Spain. Okay, so the first two up here were the Iberians, later came the Celts and from the merging of the two there arose a new race, the Celtiberians, who divided into several tribes, gave the name to the respective homelands. The next to arrive were the Phoenicians who founded a number of trading posts along the coast. After this came the Greek settlers who founded also several towns. Um, the Phoenicians in their struggle against the Greeks called on the Carthaginians who under the orders of Almicar Barca took possession of most of Spain. It was at this time that Rome raised a border dispute in defense of the areas of uh, Greek influence and thus began in the peninsula the Second Punic War which decided the fate of the world at that time. Um, after the Roman victory it began the conquest of Spain which was to be under Roman rule for six centuries. Rome left in Spain the Latin language, the law, the municipality, and the Christian religion. So, at the beginning of the 8th eighth, eighth century, the Arabs entered uh, from the south and they conquered the country swiftly, except uh, for a small uh, bulwark, for a small bulwark. In the north which uh, would become the initial springboard for the reconquest which was not completed until eighth, eight centuries later. In 1469 the marriage of the Catholic monarchs uh, Isabella and Ca of Castile and Ferdinand of Aragon prepared the way to the union of, of Spain. And then it came the in the historic year, historic year of uh, fourteen ninety two, the the caravels, the caravels sent by the crown of Castile um, under the command of Cristofo Columbus discovered America. The next two centuries, the sixteenth and seventeenth century. Uh, witnessed the construction and apogee of the Spanish Empire, as a result of which the country, under the ages of the Austrias, uh, the kings, became the world f uh, foremost power, and European politics hanged upon it. The war of succession to the Spanish crown uh, marked the end of the dynasty of the Habsburgs and the coming of the Bourbons, that's uh, what we have now. The Treaty of Utrecht in 1713, in 1713, formalized the British occupation of the Rock of Gibraltar, giving rise to the anachronistic colonial, colonial situation, which still persists today and constitutes the only dispute between Spain and the UK. Uh, in 1808, Joseph Bonaparte, the, the, this was the brother of Napoleon, was installed in the Spanish throne following the Napoleonic invasion, although the resistance of the Spanish people culminated in the restoration of the Bourbons in the person of Fernando VII. In 1973, the brief reign of Amadeo ended with his abdication and the First Republic was proclaimed. However, in, 18, in 1875, the monarchy was restored and Alfonso XII was proclaimed King of Spain. He was succeeded in 1886 by his son Alfonso XIII, although his mother, Queen Maria Cristina of Habsburg, acted as regent until 1902, when he was crowned king. Prior to this, a brief war uh, with the United States resulted in the loss of Cuba, Puerto Rico and the Philippines. 
in 1898, thus completing the dissolution of the Spanish overseas empire. In the municipal elections of April 12, 1931, the size of the Republicans' vote in cities such as Madrid and Barcelona was enormous. By the evening of the day following the elections, great crowds were gathering in the streets of Madrid, and as a result, Alfonso XIII left Spain and the Second Republic was established in April the 14th. But a climate of growing violence culminated in 1936 in a military rising which turned into a tragic civil war which did not end until three years later. Uh, in 1936, Franco took over as head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces. The Spanish state embarked on a period of 40 years dictatorship, during which the political life of the country was characterized by the illegality of all the political parties, with the exception of the national movement. Franco died in 1975, bringing to an end to a period of Spanish history and opening the way to the restoration of the monarchy with the rise to the throne of the king, uh, Juan Carlos I. And I'm going to, to finish now because I, I have recorded more than, more than six minutes and I think this is uh, too much. Okay, goodbye.